We just did a problem just like this. I will tell you that sodium hydroxide is the limiting reactant, and therefore it will be an acidic solution just like the last example. So therefore this is a companion problem. <clears throat> the next one is a companion problem as well, pH less than seven, acidic. Now let's go on to this problem. In this problem, things turn out a little differently. You can see that uh, the moles of hydrochloric acid in, the same, in this problem are the same as the one from the previous uh, lecture and the last two, so it's always the same for that. So we know that from previous calculations, there are 0 0.003775 moles of HCl. And you can prove that to yourself. Now, uh, the milliliters of, high, of, sorry, of sulf, uh, sodium hydroxide have changed. Now we have 0 0.04151 liters of the sodium hydroxide solution. We're going to go ahead and use the molarity. of sodium hydroxide, break it up into moles per liter of sodium hydroxide. And now we get 0 0.004151 moles of sodium hydroxide. Now we can see that the moles of sodium hydroxide are larger Therefore, our limiting reactant will be our hydrochloric acid. And one thing to keep in mind when you work these calculations, so if there is excess sodium hydroxide, then the pH has to be higher than 7 when you get your final answer. So uh, because I know these calculations can be long and you can, it's easy to sort of forget that we know some things about what the answer should be already. So uh, note pH is greater than 7.00, which is consistent with having excess sodium hydroxide and uh, hydrochloric acid as our limiting reactant. Okay, and we'll check in with that at the end. Now, because there's one-to-one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one -to -one stoichiometry like the similar or previous problems, we know that this moles of HCl for our limiting reactant equals the same number of moles of sodium hydroxide that are reacted away. And therefore, if we know the starting sodium hydroxide moles, we know how many are reacted away. We can then find our moles left over. Zero point zero 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 three seven six moles sodium hydroxide left over. Set that aside for a minute. Now we're looking for the pH. We know that we have moles of sodium hydroxide. So our hint here is that I'm going to go and use the moles of sodium hydroxide to calculate the concentration of sodium hydroxide because right, pH always deals with the concentration of hydrogen ion or the concentration of hydroxide ion, and these two things are always related. I know my moles of sodium hydroxide. Here I'm going to write my total volume in the denominator. I know that I have 25 plus 41 milliliters. Uh, I'm going to write them both out in liters like I did in the previous example. I have my liters of sodium hydroxide. I have my liters of hydrochloric acid. And uh, this time, yeah, I'll just do it all in my calculator. So I have my moles in the numerator. Let's see if we can do this. I put my parenthesis, 0.0. 4151 plus 0 0.02500 zero, zero. 
unparenthesis that adds up my denominator for me. Hit equal sign. I forgot to uh, hit multi uh, divide by, so let me write down that result. And I'll do it all again. 0 0.000376 divided by 0 0.06651. Does that look right? It does. Equals 0 0.00565 molarity sodium hydroxide. I say it looks right because I have three zeros up here. I have one zero down here. That means that uh, I should end up with about two zeros in the final answer number. We could do all of this in scientific notation. That's fine. I don't know why, but unless the numbers get smaller than this, I'm more comfortable with all those zeros. But again, lots of ways to do this. I have my molarity of sodium hydroxide. I can use that to find my pOH. And again, I always put the numbers on the page. And then I hit log, minus log, take the minus away. 2.25 is my pOH. And pH equal, plus pOH equals 14. Solving for the pOH, for the pH, take 14 minus the pOH. It's already negative but I will redo it, minus 2.25, I get 11.75 as my pH. And it is greater than seven, and we are not surprised by that. Um, in fact, we're quite happy about it.